Hey everyone, Hikes with Mike here. Just gonna go over a few different gear changes I did and why I did them. Um, I'm gonna be hiking part of the Pacific Crest Trail this year with my daughter and part of it with my son. And so I went and hiked the Mojave Desert last year with a 20 pound base weight and uh, when I got home I had decided I was gonna lighten my load and so it's not all about gear but the reason I'm going ultra light is so that my kids can come with me and that their pack will be light enough for them to enjoy so originally I went with just this Stanley cup here. It's made out of aluminum. Um, it did really good. Um, the only downfall with this is that this top right here is not waterproof and it, as you can see, it, you, they use it as a strainer. That's why I went to the bot. The bot is, well, I'll open it here for you for a second. As you can see, it's got nice twists on and it's got a rubber seal on it and uh actually one liter will fit in here so if you're wondering how much one liter is if you fill this to the rim it is actually one liter um or this is one cup my my bad and uh i just put my camp towel my little stove in here also the smaller uh, little gas bottles will fit right in here too on and then with the towel I uh, just don't have one my wife's going to Walmart to get one but uh, those little bottles should last about five to six days if you're only making one meal a night so that should be fine for me um, I got this RAV power 1600 milliamp battery I had the the anchor nine nine thousand milliamp and it got me about four days out there but I'm only going to be using my phone for a lot of stuff because I'm trying to find as many different uses for everything like this bot I can cold soak but I also can cook in whereas this one I can only cook in and so I can also carry water in this if I need to through the desert. So that's why it has multi-uses. That's why I went that with them. This one has also has multi-uses. If I get in a pinch and my headlamp goes out, it's got a little light on it. And also, I did my research. This actually, for ounces per milliamp, is actually better than an anchor battery. And so I went with that one. Um... As far as my tents go, this one is the XPG by Cabela's. Great tent. Uh, I suggest it for anybody that's looking for a tent on a budget. This is a great tent. It's three, three and a half pounds. Um, really love that tent. It's uh, really comfortable. It's got a double vestibule and uh, it's a really nice tent. And uh, but it is three and a half pounds and I was looking to lighten my load. And so I went all in on the z Pax Duplex. This one is right at a pound and a half with the stakes in it. And then with my air mattress, I had just a regular Cabela's air mattress, a big one. And I traded that one in for the, the, the z Light small one so I use this with my seat pad and that's my protection from the ground um, also I did this to lighten my load a little bit I had a just a regular bag I got a lot of stuff from Cabela's by the way I had this regular bag from Cabela's it's two and a half pounds or I think three pounds this is a three pound bag and uh, it's 30 degrees, but it works great. 
but it's three pounds. So I got this from the Enlightened Equipment Enigma 900 filled down sleeping bag. And this one weighs 17 ounces, so one pound, one ounce. So that's why I got this one. And this one is actually warmer. Uh, when me and Lily slept outside, she used the green one and I used this one. And I stayed warmer than Lily, so I let Lily sleep in this one. And I slept in that one, and I really did feel that this one was warmer. And so that was a good choice on that end. And um, so that's some of the moves I've made to lighten my load. Also, I want to have a light load because of how many miles I'm traveling. So the best I can do to get my load down, the better for me. All right, well, that's all for today. Thanks for coming in and enjoying this with me. And uh, hopefully you like and subscribe and tell all your friends. All right, thanks. Hike on.